Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Last time, we were gonna drink a potion and see if Here I die. Does again. Oh, you're gonna keep moving. It is this one. That one. It's even faster this time. I got it. Hmm, I blinked. So, this might not be right. But it is? Oh dear. That's really confusing. Can I, can I move? Can I move now? Oh, oh geez. Now, that's ridiculous. on the table. Um, that one. I don't think I picked that one, but then I could be wrong. It was that one. Don't say those things, Hermione. Oh no! Ah! Oh, I picked the wrong potion and I died. Oh. And we're back. I decided to spare you watching the uh, potion swirl around again and again. Well done, Harry. You picked the right one. I got it this time. You were so certain, Hermione. Why didn't you point that out? Snape on your own. I'll go back and help Ron. Good luck, Harry. No explanation that there's only enough for one. I guess not. All right, through the fire we go. Ooh, and there's a chest. Let's take a look at house points. Yep, Slytherin's winning. By a significant amount. I'm not sure I've ever beaten this with, uh, with Gryffindor. <gasps> it's not Snape, it's Quirrell! Harry has nothing to say about that whatsoever. Save game book. Well, that's precarious. Oh. Don't die, Harry. Wow. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Ah, oh, I tell him not to die. He dies. It's wonderful. Anyway. Jump, Harry! Okay, we're gonna make it this time. There you go. Just think the story could've ended there. Oh dear. Um. I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. I suppose you were expecting someone else. Well, it's me, scared, stuttering Professor Quirrell. You're far too inquisitive to remain among the living. Ouch! Oh, ah! Pendo! Pendo! Don't completely know what I'm doing. Pendo! Oh, did I just... I just watched myself in. Pendo! Totally did. Oh, he's pushing them away. No, Quirrell. Harry, you are making yourself a target like that. Problem. 
comes that I need both blocks. Run, Harry, run. to defend myself anymore. Positive, I've got Flip this. Endo. Damn it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with you. Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna run past you. How about that? This is Potter. You will not succeed again. You're just gonna run away instead of trying to kill me like you've been doing the whole time? Ooh, lots of chocolate frogs. I only need two of them. If I could save you in my pocket, I would. Give me the stone. No. Let me speak to him face to face. Master, you're, you're not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. Nope, 
Okay, yeah, he hit himself. Hand over the stone. No. Stupid seeker thing. Get away from me, Voldemort. No. no. There you go. As long as I can keep getting him to hit the mirror and not me, we'll be good. And as long as the secret spell will go away. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, I don't think I have to hit it again. I think I just have to stand here. Yeah. You will heal to me, Potter. Nope. Not gonna happen. Spell will wear itself out. You will no. No. That didn't that did nothing to him. He's on the wrong side of it. Oh, I could have flipendoed it. Maybe. I don't know. Joy Oh no, Harry! Okay, I think I'm gonna get him this time. Aw, oh, dang. He moved. There he goes. This is my third attempt. Killing him. Come on. You know what? It doesn't need to move. It doesn't need to move. He needs the reflective surface on his side. One more hit! One more hit! One more hit and we got him. You will heal to me, Marta. No! Walk all the way around. There you go, Voldemort. go. Got him. That is... Ooh. <gasps> Dumbledore! Dumbledore smiled. What happened down in the dungeons between yourself and Professor Quirrell is a complete secret, he said. So naturally, the whole school knows. <laughs> the stone had been destroyed, but Harry remained fearful that its loss would not prevent Lord Voldemort's return. Dumbledore nodded, sharing his concern. Nevertheless, Harry, if our battles do no more than slow Voldemort's return, with luck he may never regain his power at all. Harry made his way down to the end of the year feast alone that night. The great hall was decked out in green and silver yeah. to celebrate Slytherin winning the House Cup. When Harry entered, there was a sudden hush. He took a seat between Ron and Hermione, trying to ignore the stares of the other students. The House Cup, announced Dumbledore is awarded to the team with the most house points. At the moment, that would seem to be Slytherin. Yep. A storm of cheering and stamping broke out from the Slytherin table. However, continued Dumbledore, <laughs> in recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor 60 points. Harry's table erupted with cheers and applause. The additional point had won the House Cup for Gryffindor. I don't know if that's actually true. With, it was with the, the best I had. evening of Harry's life. 
better than winning at Quidditch or Christmas or knocking out mountain trolls. He would never, ever forget tonight. And there you have it. Ooh. What is Snape up to? <laughs> oh, friend George. Oh, dear. Is this Snape's office? Is it going to explode with beans? Yep. Yeah, I did not get all of the cards. I'm missing one there. Is that it? Is that the only card I'm missing? That one time! That one time in the hallway. And, um... That I knew I had missed. That I should have explored and I didn't. Um, that's, that's the card. That I was missing. But, um... But yeah, I mean, ultimately, you don't really get anything. You just... They're just bragging points, I guess. But yeah, this is Salazar Slytherin. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's Harpo the Fowl. Hmm. He's the first known creator of the Basilisk. Okay, so let's see. This is Rowena Ravenclaw. This is Hufflepuff. Who's this person? Roderick Plumpton. Seeker for England's Quidditch team holds British record for fastest capture of the snitch during three and a half seconds. Awesome. Um, where is who's this person? The witch who invented flu powder. This is Gillyweed. Discovered the use of Gillyweed. Nearly suffocated after eating it, recovering only when she stuck her head into a bucket of water. <laughs> mm, Hengist of Woodcroft. Medieval dates unknown. Driven away from his home by Muggle persecutors, is supposed to have settled in Scotland, where he founded the village of Hogsmeade. This is Nicholas Flamel. No, it's not. I looked at the red thing. It's Birdie Bots. This is Salazar Slytherin. I knew that. I just forgot. Uh, Cassandra Blabaski, celebrated seer and author of Unfogging the Future. Morgan Le Fay. This is what Morgan Le Fay looks like. Okay. Edgar Strugler, inventor of the Sneakoscope. Newt's Commander, author of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. This is the guy famous for developing the snitch. This is Godric Gryffindor. Did we miss anybody? I don't think so. Eric the Oddball, highly eccentric wizard who is famed, among other things, for wearing a jellyfish for a hat. Albert Waffling, famous magical theor theoretician. Durant Simpling. Ate an entire venomous tentacula on a bet and survived, though it was still purple. Ooh. Wow. Celebrated wizard imprisoned for muggle imprisoned by muggles for his writings. This is Merlin. Dumbledore. Jilly no Tilly Toke awarded Order of Merlin first class for saving lives during the Ilfrak Combi incident of nineteen thirty two when a dragon swooped down on a beach full of sunbathers. And Burdock Molden, Chief of Wizards Council. So yeah, so I'm missing two cards, but not that big a deal. Anyway, so this is the game. And, um, I mean, other than being short, it's definitely probably the most fun Harry Potter game out there. Uh, I do plan on playing um, Chamber of Secrets. And I may play some others. I may not. Um, that will depend. But if you are interested, 
in watching me play some other games, you can check out my channel. I'll have videos going on daily there. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed watching this playthrough as much as I enjoyed playing it. It's definitely a fun game and you should try it yourself if you if you get the chance. You definitely should because it's a lot of fun. And I will see you later. Thanks for watching.